tutorial we're going to use a new brand called Deck of Scarlet. It is a subscription brand that every two months you get a new sleek palette designed by one of your favorite YouTubers. So in the palette you get three shades of eyeshadows, two cheek colors, and two lip colors. It also comes with an eye pencil and a lip pencil, a perfect deck of components to create a super edgy and trendy look. This particular palette is done by Yvonne Waugh, I'm sure you guys have heard of her. Hopefully I said her name correctly, <laughs> but anyways, I was so excited to dig into this palette because I never have seen these color combos before and they work so well together. So if you're interested, it's $29.95, free shipping, you can cancel it anytime if you're not feeling it, or you can skip the palette if you don't like the palette that is made at that time. Look at the pigment though, it's serious. If you're interested, you guys, click the link down below and get your own. Now I'm going to start to prime the eyes. I'm using Painterly Paint Pot as always, the 286 brush from MAC. Putting that all over the eyes, making sure that it's nice and even so these shadows go on nice and smooth. And the pigment, you guys, as if I said before, was absolutely insane. So, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to use Sandstorm, the cheek color, to use as a transition shade. And I'm going to use a E40 from Sigma and I'm just going to put this in the crease. I wanted to use a light color and I like that the Sandstorm color was a perfect contour shade so you can use it on the cheeks and you can use it on the eyes. So I decided to use this on the eyes and create a somewhat transition so that the shades that are a little bit darker and more colorful are not so harshly put onto the eye. I wanted it to all blend really nice. So now I'm taking Fudge and I'm using an old Sephora blending brush and I'm putting this on the outer V putting a little bit into the crease and I'm going to be building that color up so it looks somewhat smoky. I like the charcoal tone in this brown. I didn't think that it was going to come out that charcoaly, but I love the way it came out and especially with the green, it looks super sick. Now I blended with the E40 as I went because I wanted it to be smoky but kind of neat at the same time. So I went back and forth with the little blending brush and my E40. So now taking a 234 from Zoeva, I'm going to be spraying the brush and putting on Mermaid on the lid. Now I did this because I wanted it to look super, super metallic. You can use it by itself. You don't have to use a spray or an adhesive or anything, but I always use a spray with metallics so it looks super like BAM in your face. So I'm putting this all over the lid, stopping on the end of the center lid going towards the outer V, kind of fading that out as you get to that smoky brown color. So you can see I'm also kind of lining into my crease with this shade. I want it to look kind of defined and kind of look like I have a bigger lid and that my eyes will appear a lot bigger. So I'm going to put the fudge again on the outer V just to blend all of that together. And then for eyeliner, we're gonna use a liquid liner by Kat Von D. Just figured I would do it really quickly because you guys have seen me apply my liner so many times. And you know, the classic wing we're going with today. And you guys know, I love this liner, it's my holy grail. And it's so easy for anyone who is learning how to put liner on. It's literally the easiest liquid liner I've ever used in my life. For mascara, I'm using Tarte Tardis Mascara. Love this stuff, you guys know. I'm just coating my lashes, defining them and just kind of bringing them up to heaven a little bit. I don't know why I said it like country, but I felt like it, I don't know. So I'm just going to, and after bringing those lashes high up, I'm going to be using Gigi Bell Lashes, my lash line, which will be coming out late spring. So get ready for that. Putting those on, we're gonna start with the face. I'm using Kate Somerville's Nourish Moisturizer, my favorite moisturizer ever. Putting that on the skin, need it right now because it's so cold in New York. It's terrible, guys. For primer, I'm using Cover FX Illuminating Primer. I love the way this looks on the skin. You could see right as I put it on, it gives you this amazing glow. 
And we're gonna throw it back a little bit with Luminous Silk Foundation by Giorgio Armani. I'm using a Sigma Kabuki brush to blend this in. Don't worry if I don't have the name right now. All the brushes and products are gonna be down below. So I'm going to blend all of this out. And then we're gonna put some concealer because we have some serious dark circles. Maybe not that serious, but we do have dark circles. I'm gonna put that under my eyes, obviously. And on my nose, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape in medium, if I haven't said that, I'm not sure if I did. And to contour, I'm using NW45 Studio Perfecting Stick, and I'm using this on my forehead, my cheekbones, on the jawline, and I'm going to contour my nose out as well. Love the stick. I need to get it actually for my kit now I'm reminding myself. So I'm going to put that on my nose as well. If you guys have not seen the way I contour my nose, please check out the last video. That video was highly requested and if you have not seen it, I really suggest you do get up and close and personal with my nose. To blend everything out, I'm using the new 3D HD Blender by Sigma. Oh my god, amazing. I am obsessed. It's like a mix of the Beauty Blender and the Tarte Quiggy Blending Sponge. You guys know how much I love my Tarte Quiggy Blending Sponge, but this one might be my new tool. I don't know. So as you guys know, I blend out my highlight first, then I go to blend my contour and make sure that the sponge is damp. You'll have a much easier time blending everything out instead of using it dry because I don't know if I've actually ever tried to use a blender dry. It's hard. So <laughs> I'm sure you guys were probably confused if you're using a dry because it's just very difficult. Damp all the way. Last but not least, I blend out my contour again. Watch that video if you want to see an in-depth tutorial on how I do my nose. So after blending that out, I'm going to be using Laura Mercier's setting powder and I'm just gonna put this on with the 3D HD Blender by Sigma. If you guys are new to my channel, know that I do have an affiliate code with Sigma. You can use code Gianna at checkout and get a discount. Now to bronze up the face, I'm using Chocolate Soleil by Too Faced and F23 by Sigma, and I'm going to bronze out the forehead, the cheekbones, and the jawline, and the nose just a little bit. I know everyone's been telling me that I shouldn't be bronzing up my forehead, but I love to. I know my forehead's not that huge, but I just like to bronze up my forehead. It makes me happy. So let me be happy, guys. Please. For blush, I'm using Lines and Last Night Air Blush by Marc Jacobs with an F10 from Sigma. Oh my god. This blush and the Air Blush collection is seriously amazing. Seriously, Marc Jacobs. Great job. Now I'm going to use Sunshine in the Deck of Scarlet palette, and I'm going to use a short shader brush from Sephora, I think, and I'm just going to put this underneath the eyes. This is where I got that true junglistic vibe. I loved the way this orange popped out under the eyes. It was just sick. I was just so obsessed after that. So I'm smudging as many layers as possible because I really, really wanted the orange to shine. Now I'm putting on some layers of mascara on the lower lashes and I'm going to wipe away any excess baking powder that I have to wipe away. <laughs> now to set the face, I'm using Tatcha's Dewy Mist Spray. You guys know, this is like my crack, seriously. Spraying that all over. Then I'm going to use the Halo Highlighting Powder from the palette. And this is a beautiful glow within kind of highlight, so if you guys are into natural highlight, definitely recommend that but you guys know me I really love a pop and highlight like seriously pop and highlight to put in my inner corners and brow bone and cheeks and everything so I decided to top it off with Illuminati diamond glow powder by artist couture another amazing product that I do have a discount code for down below go check it out I'm using an morphe m501 brush and I'm just basically pouring this highlighter all over my face. I should've just poured the whole powder on my face and I would've been done. For eyeliner, I'm using Long Wear Eyeliner by Deco Scarlet in Chameleon. It's a beautiful emerald green, goes with the shadow really, really well. So I'm putting that in my waterline. And I never use eyeliner, you guys, but this one was super pretty and I had to pair it together. For lip liner, I'm using their liner in Cake Pop and I'm putting this all over. My lips were a little dry so I put some balm on them because that liner was just not going on with that lip balm. So I put a little lip balm and blended it out. 
Now I'm using almonds and coral kisses together with the E46 from Sigma. Beautiful lip colors. Oh my god guys, they blended so nice and they felt really creamy on the lips. I was just like pretty, pretty amazed. So I put almond on the outside of the lips and lined it basically. And then I put coral kisses on the inside. And it just created this really beautiful dark nude. I just love the way it looked. But it was like a little peachy. I just love it. But that is it, you guys. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, please thumbs it up and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you guys thought. And if you guys like the deck of Scarlet palette, if you guys are going to get one, let me know. And again, don't forget to click the link in the bio if you do want a deck of Scarlet palette. But that is it, you guys. I will see you next time. I love you guys so much. Bye.